Hello, my beautiful watchers. I hope you are doing great. Milder weather at last. For days, Petson had meant to go shopping, but it had been so cold, he'd hardly dared stick his nose out of the door. It was the day before Christmas Eve, and barely a crumb was left in the cottage. Today was really the last chance to buy the Christmas food and bake the gingerbread and fix everything that needed to be fixed for Christmas. Findus, the cat, has just found the Christmas tree stand. Now he stood at the door with his nose in the crack and waited for the old man to open. Come on, Petson, he called. Let's get the tree. They had already chosen a fine little tree in the forest weeks ago, but it was a long way to go. That can wait, said Petson. We should get to the shop first and buy Christmas food. But first I am going to shovel snow. They went outside and Petson cleared path to the hen house and the tool shed and the outside blue and the woodshed. We can gather some fir branches so to spread on the doorstep while we are at it, said the old man. You coming, Findus? If I get to ride, he was already at the woodshed where the axe and the sled were kept. With the cat in the toe, Petson plodded up the hillside behind the tool shed. Here and there he cut some fir branches and laid them on the sled. When it was full, they turned to go back down again. But all of a sudden, Petson slipped on a stone, the sled flew forward and hit the old man in the back of his knees so that he fell back on the branches. Gathering speed down the slope, the sledge hurtled straight into the stone wall and tipped over. The cat was thrilled and whooped. Again! But the old man didn't find it quite so amusing. Mourning and groaning, he struggled up out of the snow. Oh, hoo, 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 he cried. I am hurt. I can't stand on my foot, he whimpered and wailed, and said a whole lot of words you are not meant to. The cat was dumbfounded. You mustn't swear the day before Christmas Eve, was all he could think of saying. Petson managed to drag himself into the kitchen, where he sat down to examine his food. What rotten luck! I hope it gets better before closing time so we can buy our Christmas food, he sighed. And to think we had so much to do, cut the tree and scrub the kitchen floor and... Yes, I'll do that, the cat yelled, and the blink of an eye he whipped out the mop, bucket and brush. Um, the old man was doubtful. He remembered what had happened the last time. All right, just this once, but promise you'll dry up properly afterwards. Yes, the cat promised. Lots of water. Petson poured warm water from the pan on the stove and added a lump of soap. Let me get out of the way first, he said, hopping up as fast as he could onto the kitchen sofa. No sooner had he lifted his feet than water came sloshing across the kitchen floor. Findus had kicked the bucket over and using the scrubbing brush as his surfboard he spurred over kitchen bay. He was a great scrubbing brush surfer. Gliding on one leg and on his front paws, he zigzagged between the chair legs, making waves that flowed all the way to the kitchen floor. I hope you enjoyed this story and this would encourage you to continue reading Christmas story this holiday season. Be safe and see you in the next video. Bye!